Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos in Banbury. I'd like to go through some of the differences between the CLP635 and the brand new CLP735. To start with, let's explain where CLP clavinovas fit into the range of Yamaha digital pianos. Your choice starts with the lower priced Yamaha Aria series. These are excellent value and very authentic to play, but made on a budget to be affordable for beginners. At the top of the range, you have the Avant Grand series. These are hybrid pianos, uh, which include a totally real piano action, like the ones that Yamaha use in their real acoustic pianos. Now sitting in the middle, you have the three Clavinova model ranges. Now the CSP are the newest concept. They have no buttons for features. They rely on connecting up to an Android or iOS device to control all their features, but you get far more voices, more backing styles and microphone settings. Then there's the Clavinova CVP range. These have a large built-in screen and have been evolving since the mid 80s and have become great instruments for pianists who like to experiment and get support from backing styles, keyboard players who like the feel of a piano keys and beginners who want to just enjoy playing with less emphasis on theory and more on enjoyment. The Clavinova CLP series was also launched in the mid 80s, but it caters for all levels of pianists who want just a few variations but not enough to sidetrack you into stopping your progress. For the player who primarily wants to play a piano, but with a few extra features to enhance the playing experience, and with a broad dynamic range of touch and response on the level of a real grand piano. Now the CLP 600 series launched back in 2017. The 635 was above a cheaper model known as the CLP625. It was very similar in spec to the top of the range Aria series. And because of the spec was so similar, they've now stopped having a lower model in the CLP series. So this is about the CLP735. It's the lowest model now in the Clavinova CLP series, but it has many extra features compared to its predecessor, the CLP635. In this video, we'll go through some of the main ones and explain what you get. Okay, so dimensions, exactly the same as the CLP635. 146 centimeters wide, 46 centimeters deep, and 93 centimeters tall. If you stick the music rest up, it's 110 centimeters tall. Weight-wise, the new 735 is a kilo heavier, up to 57 kilograms. And its power consumption is actually less. That was 20 watts of power, to run a 635, it's down to 18 watts now. But both have two 30 watt speakers, which are 16 centimeters. Both models have a USB to host and USB to device for storing your songs that you've recorded. But both models have no Bluetooth. That starts on the 745. Both the 635 and the new 735 have a feature called Piano Room, which is great. You can specify the location of where you're playing the piano. So you can get the sound of a dead room, the ambience of a stage, or even a church, and you get all the reverberations that the location will provide. Both models also have 20 rhythms, but the new 735 now gives you the option of having an automatic bass line forming part of the rhythm section. And this follows the notes you're playing, so you can enjoy being part of a trio in your own piano. And the 700 series gives you a new EQ system. Uh, it features on the control panel and allows you to adjust the different frequencies of the sound, uh, be it more bass or less bass, mid-range or treble. So you get more control over the overall sound. And the 735 will give you two new voices, uh, giving you a total of 38 in all. The 735's new voices are forte piano sounds for aficionados of the 18th and 19th century forte piano music. These two new voices are samples of 18th and 19th century pianos, which are ideal when playing music like Chopin, Beethoven, Scarlatti, and Mozart. And you get new samples of the CFX and Bosendorfer Imperial Grand Pianos, which have been recording and using a new procedure, as well as something called binaural sampling of both concert grand pianos for playing with headphones. Now the internal memory for recording on a CLP 635 was 900 kilobytes and now you've got 1.4 megabytes on the 745. You can record up to 250 songs, up to 16 tracks per song, 
with a total polyphony of 256 notes. And with these two extra voices, you now have 21 voice demos, along with the 50 classical songs built in to listen to and play along with. The 735 also includes 303 lesson songs. These include music from the traditional piano exercises and practice methods, including Hannon, Bayer, Cerny and Bergmuller studies. They're all built into the CLP 735. OK, so let's explain some of the features this instrument has. The Stereophonic Optimizer. Bit of a mouthful. This is on both the CLP 635 and the new 735. This is really clever. For when you're playing with headphones, it's normally a very different experience to playing through the speakers. So the geniuses at Yamaha have optimised the sound so that it sounds like you are sitting in front of an acoustic piano and the sound is coming from the body of the instrument, even when you're playing through the headphones. Something else, Intelligent Acoustic Control, or IAC. This is on both models too. This is great when you're playing at home, possibly on low volume, and the bass and treble may be difficult to hear. The CLP735 has IAC, which adjusts the sound automatically, allowing players to enjoy a balanced sound, even at a low volume. Real Grand Expression Modeling 2 is a new feature on the CLP735. This is where your piano will pay special attention to the sensitivity of your playing. Even the tiniest nuances of your keystroke, from touching to triggering, will ensure the tone that you hear varies from a limited variety of sounds. OK, Virtual Resonance Modelling, VRM. This is for your complex interplay and small nuances, which you would experience on an acoustic concert piano. From keystrokes, hammer movement, dampers, pedals, strings and the resonance of the entire sound body, you'll get a full concert grand experience. And in the 735 you'll gain from the new Grand Touch S keyboard, which is very authentic. This is due to key lengths, counterweights and the pivot point between the white and the black keys. In addition, they offer a high degree of expressive control, ranging from pianissimo to fortissimo. Something else the 735 has is binaural sampling. This has been devised for headphone users, and it's been upgraded to offer a new binaural sample for the Bosendorfer Imperial. And it's very clever. What it does is it gives you the feeling as though you aren't actually wearing any headphones at all. And it means you haven't got to worry if you're playing for hours on headphones, because you're getting hearing protection, even if you want to play a little bit louder. Something else that you get the use of with the uh, CLP735 is something called Smart Pianist. It's a fantastic app that Yamaha have produced um, by using your phone or tablet, and it covers Android and iOS. So instead of fiddling with the buttons on the small panel of the 735, you can easily link it up to a Yamaha app, helping to simplify many of its procedures. You can mix voices, adjust levels, change effects like reverb, use functions like transpose, fine tuning, even pedal settings, all from the screen of your tablet or phone and it will even bring the music score up to all of the 350 songs built into the 735, and you can join in with them. And there's a very clever feature where songs in your iTunes library will show up as chord sequences on the screen of your tablet. This allows you to jam along with your favorite tracks, and you'll even be able to digitally adjust the tempo without it affecting the key, and you'll be able to transpose the song to suit your favorite playing key, or for your music you might have. The Yamaha Clavanova CLP735 is a fantastic digital piano with many new features. And like many digital pianos, it offers a great alternative to an acoustic. It won't go out of tune, it won't be affected by central heating or underfloor heating, it can be put in a conservatory where temperatures fluctuate, it can be dismantled and taken upstairs easily, and it can play through headphones. And it costs a fraction of the cost of a new acoustic piano. I hope you found this video useful. Check out our website epianos.co.uk for other videos of comparisons and demonstrations of the full range of Yamaha digital pianos. Or click on the link in the text below. Thanks for watching.